Alright, alright, alright. Well, hi, my lovelies. Hi, my lovelies. Hola, chicas y chicos. And welcome back to my channel. Y bienvenido para atrás a su canal. Well, hi, my lovelies. OMG. Well, how's everybody doing? How's your mama and them doing? How's your children? How's everything going? I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy at home or doing what they need to do, but rushing themselves right back to the house and stuff like that and stuff like that because it's getting real out there it's getting real my lovelies well anyways like i told you guys in my last video um that you did see the little mixed media projects i did in the background um i stated to you guys i will let you see them up close and personal on the next video so this is what i'm here to do and let you know what i use for them and whatever whatnot so yeah this is what i'm doing because i did share um these projects on my other social media channels well sites which is my instagram my facebook and twitter and so on and so forth um but i just didn't make a video and put it here for you guys to see so i'm just gonna go ahead and share it with you all right so let's just jump right into this let's just jump right into this okay one second all right, so first we're gonna start off with this one, all right? Look at that, ain't that some beautiful goodness right here? Yes, it is, it's so yummy and shiny and everything pretty. <laughs> so anyways, here I did utilize um, some of cinnamon folds, okay, which are Her fairy garden molds. Okay, this is how it looks. I did utilize her for the center. Okay, I also used her stars and moon molds. All right, and it also has the little faces. That's where you see the faces here. And her stars all over the place. Yes, yes, yes. And I also incorporated a star in the middle of this girl's chest and the moon, which I used, I believe, the small moon for over here on the corner, all right? And I also used her flags and wings moon mold, okay? It's that one. And I just incorporated a wing on that corner, okay? And the stencils I did use is her, I believe I used Thinner Bear stencil or the Stamparina stencil. Let's find out because I have it all on the side. So yes, I did use my Thinner Bear stencil. Okay, and that's how it looks. I used that for the back. Okay, and I also used I also used in the background uh, here some of her um, texture paste. Okay. I used some of her texture paste, which was her stone effect, as well as I mixed it up with her mini art stone just to give it an extra rocky effect in the background. Okay. There we go. And then these little chunks that look like um, little solo rocks. There was a mold that broke up and I love the detail on it. It looked like, you know, meteorites, meteor rocks. So I did place them down. With that, I did use her heavy body gesso, and I also incorporated, as you can see, my glitter in a swirly rotation just to make it shift on all the colors of the solar system because 
one because it has a lot of beautiful colors in it, right? And then I went ahead and I incorporated some of my Swarovski crystals and some white little pearls just to give it the assets of far back, like little galaxies and little planets and stuff like that in the back. And then here I did color this up. Okay, it was a piece of paper behind some chipboard, and I wrote on it, look beyond the stars, okay, look beyond the stars, and she's supposed to be like one of God's, um, our Heavenly Father's Archangel, okay, and she's there with our Lord watching over us, that was, that's how I pictured this, okay, so once again, this is how it looks. The colors I did utilize in this was, as you can tell, heavy black gesso in the background. I did go ahead and use some rose gold, um, a soft, a little bit of soft gray into it, um, from Finnebear's line. I'll show you right here. I used the Ventures gold as well. I use opal, turquoise just a tad of it okay um i did use the rose gold like i stated right here i did use a little bit of her matte white okay just to give it soft little highlights in certain areas and i also use her coral black okay her coral black is like that midnight um, solar blue okay that's what I used as well so yes my lovelies this is all this is one of the projects all right that I can share with you ain't she beautiful yes she's gorgeous so let's just move on to number two all right so this was my second project that I did create And here, I did go ahead and use, let me just give you a little product so it don't have to go all the way down, okay? But you could see and I could give you some details, all right? So, in here, as you can see, I did gesso once again, all black. I did use some of um, Pinna Bear's texture paste all through it. And I did incorporate um, her stencil along with it and the one I used for this one was this one right here okay swirl floor and that's in the background of that and I did put in some of my puzzle pieces in the back as well I like just doing dimensions as you guys know I like glaring and just giving it an extra oof, okay? So, yes, I did utilize some of my puzzle pieces in the background. I did also incorporate some metals, some of my metals that I did get from the lovely Monica here on YouTube, which is AKA Scrapping for my boys, all right? I also um, used her Finna Bears molds, which are these right here. they are like her gears and tops of like screws and flatheads and stuff like that and once again I utilized her stars and moons all right and like always I do use her um, art stones I did use her small and mediums all right I did also um, use all, well, like one, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven. Seven colors in this little canvas here. I, this is one, okay. I also used her old silver. 
as well as her rose gold. I also used her mystic turquoise as well as her rusty red. Okay, I love how these curls because you just grew the design. They're very oily, but they're awesome. And once they dry, it's permanent, I love it. Okay, um, I also used her red amber, as well as her peacock, okay? That's all the colors I utilized in here. I did highlight it with the, um, the silver, the old silver. I did use some highlights for that around the edges and the sides and I incorporated all the colors all around there. Okay, that's how dimensional it is. It sticks up in certain places and I love all of that, okay. And as you can see, I never let go of my bling. <laughs> and I did incorporate some of my glitter as well as my Seraphic crystals in this one as well. Right? And I did write a little statement on this little cardboard. Okay, and it says, sparkle like a star. And that's how it is. Okay, so I so that's number two, but I don't want to make this video so long. OMG, let's just go ahead and grab number three. I hope you guys like it. If you do, you already know what to do, my lovelies. You already know what to do. <laughs> so give me one second, I'll bring the other one for you. Okay, and this is my third and last final project that I have to share with you guys. How it looks. Okay. That's how it looks. And in here, I incorporated, um, as you can see, I used black gesso for the background, but I incorporated some of um, Stemperia mixed media stencil and used that stencil for the background. I also incorporated some of my fish, my fishing nets. Well, technically, what I use, I'll take all the little icy packs from the little bag it comes in, and I put them all in my deep freezer, let them freeze, and I use that little bag because it's like the fish net, as you can see. So I cut that up and I put them in different places here along the side. I also used my baker twine. Okay. So just do a little different type of dimension on there. I also did utilize my paper straws, all right? I do place them a certain way in order to give a dimensional and 3D effect like that in different size and going in different ways, okay? Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit y'all. I also used the, my Stamperina mold. Okay, these are the soft molds. Um, and I used my seahorse, as well as my little fishes. All right, and these are speed punks. This is like a steampunk mold, okay? So I utilized that. Um, I also used once again my Finna Bear Molds, the Stars and Moons, as well as her her gears. As well as her gears again. Okay. And on top of that I did use all my lovely medals that I once again received from the lovely Monica. Um, aka scrapping for my boys and I also used some of the medals that I had in my stash and I placed a along in different areas surrounding my little seahorse here. Yes, that's how it looks. I also used her corners just to give it an extra O onto this canvas. Alright. And once again I did use the um stone effect paste um, to give it, you know, little grungy and details, like a, inside a water thing where you have all this little sand going around. 
and I also utilize her mini art stones in medium and small okay and then I also utilize um, Finn and Bear's um, art pebbles which they have like a symmetrical look to them look like that. I use those and once again I incorporated my glitters I incorporated my Swarovski crystals and once again as I said fire I did use heavy black gesso okay from Prima for the background and I did go ahead and use for the coloration of this whole thing is charcoal black mystic blue peacock Indian pink, old silver, as well as her matte old black, um, old white, I'm sorry. And I did incorporate it all through there and everything I did. I did highlight with the old silver on the outer skirts of the picture just to give it just to blend those colors in and not have it overpower the picture. I wanted the colors to really stand out in its unique form throughout this canvas, okay? And give it a specific blend. And I love how it came out now. I was really stuck on this one for a minute because it looked like everything just drowned together, but I saved it like I always do. <laughs> And that's how it looks, okay? And then I did go ahead and water down a little bit of white gesso. And I just did little splats in different areas, as you can see. All right. So that's it, my lovelies. This was the third and final project that I wanted to go ahead and share with you like I promised and I hope you guys liked them and I hope I was more detailed on what I did to each and every one of them for you so if you like you already know what to do press like subscribe comment below and what share because why sharing is always caring you already know and love is love love is love we gotta show each other love okay so once again thanks so much for tuning in with me and showing me the love that you always do unconditionally i greatly appreciate it and that's it this is what i have to share with you so i'm gonna send you guys off with the traditional a bunch of kisses a bunch of kisses and god bless you watch over you now and always now and always my lovelies okay so please one more thing continue to stay safe and healthy and blessed now and always may god watch over you now and always okay and stay safe at home all right that's the best place to be okay so thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you guys on my next one <laughs> love you bye